Hi there, Miss Nicole here. Today we're going to be reading Shall I Knit You a Hat by Kate Kleiss, illustrated by M. Sarah Kleiss. Oh dear, oh my, oh goodness me. These were some of the things Mother Rabbit said when she heard the news. A blizzard is moving this way, she told Little Rabbit as she tied his scarf the next morning. It will start snowing on Christmas Eve and won't stop until the snow reaches the tallest tips of your ears. My ears, asked Little Rabbit. But that will be very cold. You're right, said Mother Rabbit. Shall I knit you a hat to keep your ears warm? Yes, please, said Little Rabbit. A Christmas hat, just for me. And so while Little Rabbit was at school, Mother Rabbit knit and purled, click, click, clack, click, click, clack, to the beat of the music on the radio. That evening, Mother Rabbit tried the hat on Little Rabbit. He stood very still while his mother made the necessary adjustments. Look how this hat shows off your long, beautiful ears, said Mother Rabbit. Little Rabbit agreed. He liked his new hat and wore it even while he ate dinner. During dessert, he thought of something. What about our friends, he asked. Shouldn't we make hats for them too? We could give them as Christmas presents. Little Rabbit, said his mother. That idea is so delicious, it deserves a second piece of carrot cake. The following day, they visited the horse whose mane Mother Rabbit measured while Little Rabbit distracted him by telling a joke. Next, they visited the goose whose long neck they inspected without ruffling her feathers. They found their other friends at the market. Little Rabbit told them a story while Mother Rabbit secretly took measurements. That was a little sneaky, Mother Rabbit admitted later that night as she and Little Rabbit ate dinner. Sneaky, yes, said Little Rabbit, but necessary. Mother Rabbit let Little Rabbit stay up very late that night, two hours past his bedtime, so that he could help with the hats. The ideas were all his. The cat's hat must be smart and stylish, just like she is, said Little Rabbit. The goose's hat will have a long scarf that wraps around her neck. The horse's hat should be a part blanket so he can sleep in the snow. And the dog's hat must have an extra long tail that looks pretty when it blows in the wind. And the deer's hat, asked Mother Rabbit. The deer's hat will show off his lovely antler, said Little Rabbit. The next day was Christmas Eve. Late in the afternoon, Little Rabbit and his mother pulled the gifts into town on a sled. When they arrived at the market, all of their friends gathered around to look at the beautifully wrapped gifts. Open your presents, please, said Little Rabbit. We made them especially for you. Little Rabbit held up a mirror. See how beautiful you look? And with that, the wind turned cold and the sky became dark. The first snowflake fell. It's time, Little Rabbit, said Mother Rabbit. We must get back to our house. Oh dear. Oh my, oh goodness me. These were some of the things the friends said when the snow began to fall and fall and fall. Just look how this clever hat keeps my head warm and dry, said the horse. Well, my long neck is perfectly comfortable, said the goose. My antlers have never been drier, said the deer. Have you noticed how pretty my tail looks when the wind blows, asked the dog. It's quite lovely, isn't it? 
Yes, they all agreed. It really was quite lovely. If we hurry, said the squirrel, we can catch up to the rabbits and thank them. And they did. We are lucky, said the cat, to have such nice friends as you rabbits. Indeed, chirped the squirrel. This is the nicest, most thoughtful Christmas present anyone has ever given me. But then, on the snowy sled ride home, Little Rabbit had a terrible thought. Oh no, he said, tomorrow is Christmas, and I forgot to make a present for you, Mother. His mother squeezed him tight. Little Rabbit, she said, being with you is the best gift of all. Once they were safely home, the rabbits celebrated Christmas Eve with a carrot cake warm from the oven. They had three pieces each. That was Shall I Knit You a Hat by Kate Kleiss, illustrated by M. Sarah Kleiss. What a lovely story about making something handmade for the special people in your life. Next up, I'm going to show you how to make something special of your own with just your hand and some yarn. What I'm going to share with you today is called finger knitting, and all you need is your hand and some yarn. Let's get started. We'll start by having a little piece of tail between your thumb and your index finger or your pointer. Then we're going to wrap it around behind your index finger, in front of your middle finger, behind your ring finger, and in front of your pinky. And we're just going to keep going behind, in front, 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 until we get two loops on each of your fingers. Then you're going to pull the bottom loop up over the top, doing this for each finger, and then repeating the process of coming behind and in front, behind and front, pulling the loops up and over. You just repeat the process until you get your piece of finger knitting to the length that you want it to. So obviously this is just the beginning, but I'm going to keep going until I can make it long enough to add to the scarf that I'm wearing. As I come to the end, I'm going to get to the length that I like and I'm going to pull over the last set of loop over loop before I do something different to finish it off. I'm going to take the loop that's on my pinky and I'm going to lift it up and over onto my ring finger and now I have two. I'm going to take that bottom loop and lift it up and over. Then I'm going to take the loop that I have on my ring finger and put it on my middle finger. Once again, I have two loops. Lift the bottom over the top. I'm going to take the loop that I have on my middle finger, lift it over onto my index finger or my pointer finger. Two loops up and over. And then I'm going to pull the last little bit of yarn through that last loop so that it won't come undone on me. And now I have it to the length that I need so I can add it to the scarf I'm wearing. 
You could also braid it to make it a braided scarf, or you could do something completely different. Maybe you want to make a finger knit butterfly, or a lanyard to help hold your library card, or even a nice little bunny. I used yarn in my hand because that's what I had on hand. But some people like to use homemade looms or even try it out with ribbon or string. What will you make today?